Okay, just doing some early Sunday pre-market uh, analysis for the upcoming trade week. Um, one of the pairs that has been on my radar um, has been a euro pair. I've been kind of focused on the euro yen for a while, and then uh, last week I I, uh, I didn't do so well on the euro yen. Uh, but I had been watching the euro Aussie dollar, and I did end up getting in a small trade late last week, and I uh, couldn't. Um, I wasn't able to uh, get out of the trade, but um, it's very small, so it's no big deal if it uh, goes against me. But the point of the uh, uh, of this video is to take a look at why I'm interested in um, your Aussie dollar. Um, I am very bearish, and the reason why is uh, fundamentals, of course, uh, but also looking on a higher time frame, if you look at the daily... Um, the I mean some of the patterns that are starting to appear are obvious, but more specifically, even I'm looking at candlestick patterns, and as you can see, um, we've got um, the price is running into the 200 EMA right here. So if you my my attention is focused on these last couple of wicks um, that are poking through, and we've got this uh, bearish pin bar on the daily. So that right there is pretty significant we've got the 20 it's running into the the 20 moving average and um it's it's actually bouncing off of the um, 200 moving average and so i'm very interested um in the near term for coming up with um, short positions on this particular pair um and as you can see on the uh, the four hour, you can see on Friday we came down. I'm looking at the RSI here. We came down off of um, this high here, and the next candle you can see was the actual high, but it w it was much lower on the RSI compared to the prior candle here. So you can see this wick up, um, and then we crossed over my moving average, and we closed below it. And then we had a couple of indecision candles here. And we are still above the RSI, but I expect it to the next candle or two to close below. This is on the four hour. And when that does, then that signals my um, entry. Um, so I could actually take a position using the four hour. That would be a pretty big stop loss of 75 pips or 70 pips or so. But we, the reward could be a couple hundred or more. So we'll just see kind of on the lower time frame if we get any entries. You can see we're hitting resistance right now um, on these last couple of candles. And this was the one of the reasons why I made an entry late last week was because we had this consolidating, descending consolidation um, pattern um, from a high in, into that consolidation. So I'm expecting it to... Um, fall through um, and hit targets. These are short targets, but um, I'll, be, I'll be looking for, um, if, if for example, market opens, we gap down and I'm out of this trade, I'll be looking for a pullback into um, what was support and that becomes resistance and then make another entry for the rest of the week. So anyway, just another pair that's been on my radar. Um, Euro Japanese yen, um, something similar actually. You can see um, it, it's kind of between the 50 and the 200. We're bound, we bounced off the 200 here, but we are hitting resistance. So if you look at this line right here, um, so I'm expecting this to actually um, have additional bearish movement, and I'll be looking for uh, sell opportunities on this pair again. Uh, last week I kind of this area right here um, it it basically I just had a poor trade well I was up but my expectation was that this was the breakout which I don't think it was but now that we had this um, uh, this candle up here is looking like it was the actual breakout to the downside so um, of course there's always an opportunity for it to reach back up and if it does um, uh, one of the reasons why is if you look in the higher time, we've been trading in a channel. We are at the high of the channel, or we hit it uh, last week. But there's always the uh, the opportunity or the chance for a double top. 
So we'll be looking for that. Well, we're looking for a potential pullback into the uh, upper uh, portion of this channel and um, or just get some additional consolidation and it will kind of get close to this channel. So uh, at some point this week, we'll be looking for a selling opportunity basically on the Euro Yen again. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great trading week and take care.